Hey, what's up, Grinders Crew, Colossus? And I'm playing. It's been a very, very long time since I've been doing a six mag video, and today it's uh, Wednesday evening uh, in Europe. And so there are a lot of uh, kind of bad players going on. So I decided to uh, put up a video uh, on the six mag games here. I have my mug of coffee. Uh, I have four tables open. Hopefully, we will get some interesting uh, action here. I've been sitting here like for 20, tw uh, well, between 20 and 10 hands. Uh, nothing interesting happened. Oh, that's a misclick on table number uh, four. Uh, have to see that now. Uh, but that was obviously a misclick. I didn't want a min raise there. Well, actually, I could have uh, keep kept on betting. Oh. So be it. Do so, uh, yeah, great way to start the video consoles. Uh Just forget about that hand. It was just a misclick. Here on table number uh, three, something interesting uh, going on. I'm gonna ice raise the guy, and the reason why I ice raise is. I wanna not because I think uh, I have the best hand. I just wanna push all the other guys out of the pot, and I just wanna get the pot heads up against the guy who limped in, which is usually some uh, crappy uh, pocket pair, uh, which uh, usually they are going to fault the inst inst count, uh, which uh, isn't good. So I'm practically giving up now. Uh, Flop wasn't too great anyway, uh, and now he fully pots it. So I'm gonna give him a green tag. Um, doesn't seem like the smartest of uh, people they playing here. Anyway, so let's take a look at table number one. We have. This guy is not fully stacked. Pick eight game on table number one. Uh, let's give him a green tag. But some of these, um, I'm gonna. Uh, this guy is uh, going way overboard here on table number one. I'm uh, essentially going to three bet him. He's 38 29. Um, I'm gonna immediately go over his stats. Uh, probably raise first in from late position is 60%, so he always raises from the cutoff and the button. So I'm 3 winning there with 5 7 suits. Um, to let him know um, that he cannot keep doing this. Here, 10 jack offsuit. Uh, the donkey, min raised. Uh, no reason to really ice a raise here after he min raised. I don't want to 3 bet here. Uh, my hand play, even if somebody else comes along, 10 jack suited is a uh, really a hand that plays uh, pretty well post flop. So, even if like everybody comes along like they did, uh, I don't mind playing the hand. Um, moved away and just fold when we complete the whiff. Here, okay, we've got a guy who's probably a donkey. Um, let's see about this one. I'm gonna barrel any high card, any queen, obviously, any hearts. Um, there were definitely uh, barreling cards. Now I'm gonna. He's got, he might have some pocket pair, like I don't know, uh, some any pocket pair. Uh, so I don't think he folds too uh, this bad if he has a pocket pair. Uh, now the question is, uh, river bet or not? Um, there are not really many draws out there in the sense that he might have a cut a flush draw that missed. Um, he might have some pocket pair that's now going to fold if I bet. So, um, is there really a lot of value in betting? I don't think so. Let's let's ha have him bet. Oh God damn it! I was going to check anyway. Maybe he's gonna bet now because he think I timed out and he missed. So I'm definitely calling here and see what happens. And he actually got a better queen. That sucks. That's life. I'm surprised he didn't raise uh, on 
the flop. But yeah, I think uh, we pretty much lost the minimum there. I got three bet here by a guy. I have no stats on. So. Oh, you can lost. It's gonna fold. Yeah, okay, King Queen suited. Well, it's a nice. Well, it's. Uh, I mean, there's nothing much I can do. I'm. Yeah, he obviously has a flush draw while he calls on the flop. That's why I check on the river because I think uh, either he has some small pocket pair or a flush draw. And if I bet, uh, he's gonna fold all his small pocket pairs uh, and all his flush draws. So if I check, he's gonna bet uh, a lot of his flush draws here. Yeah. God damn it, is anybody falling today? Uh, two, three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kind of weird. Hmm. I just have to fold. This guy has got some, some pocket pair like pocket sevens, pocket eights, um, which I can't beat. Yeah, not running really, really good. Well, actually, running pretty bad right about now but then God comes along and gives us pocket aces in the big blind and it's gonna get forward to us ah uh, it's against the guy who al we already 3 bet and this is the advantage of 3 betting uh, guys like this because they think that now we are doing well insta folds <laughs> well well Ace Queen. Preflop, race first. Uh, it's not really aggressive. Um, I'm gonna three bet this guy again, and if he four bets, uh, I'm I'm going to shove over him. Here I'm gonna call it Ace Queen. Um, it's like the third time he falls to my three bets um, on table number one. And on table number four, um, the guy is 1610. Never a lot of money to win against these guys. Now he checks behind. <sighs> okay, let's, let's make like some kind of. I'm way ahead for sure, so let's make some kind of wimpy bet and maybe he'll look us up for, for one card. And, uh, he does look us up for one card. Um, Maybe pocket. Nah, well, he, he checks behind. So on this queen eight four a flop. So let's think about it. If he checks behind there, he's got some kind of showdown value because this is like the ideal um, showdown. So if I check here, he's gonna check behind all the hands that I beat. So I'm gonna make some wimpy kind of bet that he can still call with a pair of eights or uh, a pair of nines. Um, who knows? Here, queen 10, uh, it's a flop to uh, just see that and be done with it. And on table number 4, did he fold? I don't know. I actually had a worse queen. But, wow. Here we get min raised by this guy, okay. He's already annoying me. Well, I'm probably annoying him, but... Table number 1, so I'm gonna focus on this Gary B37 guy and... Uh, he keeps on, uh, although I, it's like three times I three bet him, he keeps on uh, raising up. 7 10 suited. Just because the guy is stupid and I'm on the button and it's a min race, I'm gonna come along. And flop a straight, but also there's a flush on the board and it's not the best type of straights. It does get checked, so I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that it's get checked to me. And if if I bet here, we're probably getting a free river card, uh, or we do hits, which is also fine. Uh, okay, since he inst checked, I don't think he. Uh, 
I'm gonna make the most of this hand and actually But he instant check. Uh, he calls an instant check. So usually this points to some drawing type of hand. All draws missed, but obviously, if he's gonna call, he's gonna call anyway. So I'm gonna make uh, the best of this and bet quite big. Uh, he insta folded, so I'm guessing he has got something like a uh, flush draw. Offsuit table number three, two early position, seven, eight, offsuit table number one. It's also not good. So as you can see, we are not running really good, but I'm also I'm not getting nervous about it. I know I know my hands will come up uh, eventually, and uh, we are definitely going to stack somebody here on table number. Well, table number two, we flop two pair. Table number one, not much we can do. Uh, just raise it up. Table number, uh, I'm definitely getting out here. Six is deuce. That's a uh, a good flop against our friend here. I'm never falling. Uh, if we do get raised here uh, on my C bet, I am definitely never falling. Uh, if well, uh, let's see what happens. If I get raised here, uh, the only one thing I'm worried about is how can I extract the most value out of him. The seven is a is a good card in the sense that all his pocket pairs uh, he might think uh, are still good. So let's bet again. Let's bet two twenty-five. I still want him to call with all his stupid pocket pairs. Uh, Wow, he raises and he makes a min raise. That's funny. Now, how many sixes are in this range? Well, he plays 50% of his hands. And this is like the... Wow, actually I'm a bit worried now. Um, I'm not falling, that's for sure. Um, why would they min raise there? If he had a 7, I think he would raise bigger. I'm gonna make a... Oh, fuck, this is too... Oh, this is stupid. This was... Uh, well, wait, 7... 14... Let me... Wait, let me calculate something. 7, 7, 3 in the pots. Well, it's a little bit small. This... Uh, it's a bit small. Uh, maybe it will induce him to do something stupid. Nah, he got nothing. <laughs> uh, interesting hand. Um, there's a few things to say about it. Um, when he min usually a uh, check call on the flop and then check min raise on the turn is going to be really really strong uh, but I didn't really believe this guy because he's like 50-32 and uh, they play so many hands that oh, well if he has a 6 well so be it um, if he has a 7, I don't think he ever folds. If he has like pocket 8s, pocket 9s, I don't think he's folding either. Um, it's 
So that's what, what I was aiming for, that he had like pocket ace, pocket nines, or like a7 type of hand. That was what I was aiming for. But nonetheless, uh, since my race was so small, he wasn't—he was definitely not drawing to anything. Uh, he was purely bluffing. Uh, so would I have been better with just calling his race? I'm never getting the money. In. Well, if I could just merely call his race, he's gonna bluff the river like 90% of the time, and I'm gonna pick up. Is pick up, pick off his uh, bluff. Um, but I feel I'm getting a lot more value from like his pocket pairs, like eight, nines, a seven type of hands, which are not going to fold to my. You know, Min race, especially since I've been three betting him like three times, and he followed every time. So it's open for discussion whether six eight offs. It's pretty close here on table number three. The race because the guy is just so short. Uh, I do want to mention this. Uh, if he if he had like uh, 50 big blinds, it would be an insta ice race. Now uh, he's got like a lot less. Well, he limp folds. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but hey, it's fine by me. Okay, so now on table number one, we are a little bit deeper against uh, our Gary B37. So hopefully we can get something going on here. Um, I get dunked into here. Uh, I'm Jack. Uh, I'm betting here. Keep on betting. Top hair. Fucking what the f Now the chances that he has a 9 are really weak. But there are not many hands that he can check call. Well, dunk out, call. If he has a better nine, if he has a better nine, oh god damn it! I was going to bet because if he has, I was going to say if he has a better nine, so be it. Uh, dunks out with a middle pair and then calls for two streets. I don't, I don't know if he calls a river bet though, but I was definitely going to bet there uh, against these guys. I'm going to color code him green also. It's always easy when oh. When you have the people color coded here, I can't fold for this uh, stupid uh, min bet, and then we flop middle pair and a flush draw. Uh, I'm never getting well, it checks. Now we have showdown value, we have uh, he did min <sighs> ace king. I don't want to give a free card to ace king. Well, I'm gonna bet. And if he raises, I'm probably going with my hands. Uh, even if he has like, yeah, he raises. Oh. <sighs> the thing is, against even against a hand like aces, kings, uh, we're doing pretty well. There's already so much money in the pot. I can't really. I'm uh, just uh, getting it in. Ace jack. No. I think we're pretty much flipping there. Uh, Ace Jack versus four or five there. Uh, any four, any five, any heart, and uh, we're good. So the, the the main point of this hand is that once I decided to bet there and have some folding equity against um, yeah against like Ace King, I don't really want to give a free just. To protect my equity with middle pair with a pair of fives um, combined with the fact that we do have a flush draw and we do have middle pair uh, it's fine for me uh, but once I decide to bet there on the flop uh, I'm, I'm going with the hand um, I'm, I'm not backing down uh, once he 
3 bets me, I know I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. Once he raises my C bet there, I know I'm, uh, I'm up against something worse, but uh, I still have so much equity uh, combined. Uh, I still have, I mean, there's not enough money behind there uh, not to make the call uh, with the equity that I have, so. middle pair here I don't really want to check down and make the hand difficult to play uh, so I'm C betting here if I check behind and uh, flat, uh, the turn comes a jack and he bets uh, I'm, in, uh, I'm in a world of pain and uh, I just want to make the hands as easy as possible to play We should make some notes on this guy that he min three bets is jack jacks uh, raises uh, jack x x flop. And obviously we cannot hit a draw uh, when I'm playing when I'm doing a video so. I'm looking like a retard right now, but so be it. Our Gary guy on table number one is uh, bleeding money, but it's not coming in my direction. Uh, Two against two people on the flop is not really best, but I have no shield on equity against two people, so I'm gonna have to make the best of it. Uh, here on table, also here on table number. Um, not the best flop either. Now that when he once he checks back, I definitely have the best hand. Here on table number uh, two, I'm not gonna continue. The reason why I don't continue is because the flop on the pot was uh, the the hand on the on the flop was two handed, and he called my C bet, knowing that the guy after him still has to act, uh, which is going to make a lot of players going to play uh, straightforward. Uh, I'm also raising here on table number three with seven ten suited against two limpers. Uh, reason being, I am in position. I uh, wanna push other people out of the pot. Uh, and I mean, once this lifetime I have to hit my flush. Uh, and obviously when the flop comes ace high, uh, a lot of people are going to give you credit and going to fold all their crappy hands here. God damn it, what's wrong with people today? We have a lot of equity. As, uh, I'm wondering why is he calling, uh, he, I mean, I, I'm clearly representing, I'm going to bet here in the case that he's decided to uh, come along with some kind of check, uh, and I do have so much equity in this pot, um, that would combine with my folding equity that when he does uh, decide to float the flop with the check, uh, that it's going to make my uh, double barrel profitable. Always think about your bets in a way that the size of the pot, the money you are betting to win the pot, and don't think about the money that you already in invested in the pot. The money that you've invested in the pot is gone. Uh, it's not your money anymore. Uh, so when there's five dollars in the pot and I'm betting two fifty, even though the two fifty dollars in the pot were already mine uh, before the hands 
before, well, uh, before uh, the, the action uh, occurred, it's not your money anymore. So essentially, when you're betting 250 to win five, uh, you, you're not you're not betting the well. I mean, I, I know you guys know what I mean. Um, so always take this into account and take into account how much equity that you have and take in account like a small percentage of folding equity that you have against hands that you don't beat if you beat certain hands then it's much more likely that checking behind will be the better option but when you have no showdown equity but you have uh, a lot of equity to win the hand in the end and you have um, folding equity uh, I mean go ahead and semi bluff uh, as much as you want but m think about it think about people's hand ranges before uh, doing okay I have a flush draw I'm gonna barrel two streets make sure that uh, the port that you're barreling has enough hands uh, ha puts enough puts enough hands in your open and open end ranges so uh, that he folds I think I had too much coffee. Uh, seven, eight offs. Here's a top. The guy in the big blind seems like an it. I tagged him green because he was like playing a half stacked game on table number one, but he's playing 12 of 10. Uh, because these guys, there's uh, pretty much no money to be made. I'm just waiting for this carry guy to do something uh, stupid. Okay. Um, here uh, definitely uh, three betting uh, our good friend here uh, with pocket jacks and folds and he leaves that it's unfortunate on table number three actually you're playing heads oh no three handed Queen came here, a really dry flop, so either I'm way ahead or way behind. Um, just gonna check here. Another queen, uh, this doesn't really change anything. Uh, I'm not folding, he probably might be betting with a pair of sevens, pair of eights, pair of nines, some random bluff uh, he has, so I'm calling. And this is interesting. This is interesting because now is he going to bet to 50? Uh, it's got a big stack, so I don't think he has a queen. If he has a queen, he would not bet so fast. So I'm gonna shove here and hope that he has like pocket nine stands, uh, maybe even a cost with a full house of sevens. I don't know. If he has a queen, well, yeah, that's life. Sometimes you have to uh, risk. What did he show? He showed his hand, I didn't see it. I forget, I thought he showed his hands. No, he didn't, okay. Table number one, I'm gonna come along. Six, seven suited against two weaker players. I have position. Big blind is not going to squeeze really often. Small blind might be capable of it, but uh, I really thought that he showed something. But I'm, I'm probably wrong. Uh, we'll flop nothing. Table number three, Kyle Limpson, ace three offs, is really, really not a good ice raising hand. I would rather 
have like because I mean there's no money to be gained with ace three offsuits, so I'm just gonna fold it here. Huh. So interesting. Here I'm gonna ice raise just because I know that when I ice raise this guy, um, he folds a lot uh, on a c bet on table number four. I'm talking with pocket threes. King high flop, uh, not too bad. Uh, if he dunks, though, I'm just falling. Because, the, I don't, uh, yeah, he dunk. How oh, he makes a stupid Swanish dunk. Min 3 best ace check. Then check raises. X, X, X flop. <sighs> There's just so many hands in his range that Queen Jack suited. I don't think he is ever falling his for no, I'm just gonna, not gonna bluff. I'm not gonna try to bluff uh, because if I raise there, I'm gonna have to bet the turn uh, for sure. And probably the river too if all the draws break. Uh, and I don't wanna really three bluff three streets against the guy who is playing 67 6. Okay, so I'm not stopping this video before I stack either this Robbie guy or this Gary guy. So this video might take a couple of hours. Or I stack him in this orbit and we'll be done with the video. Time for a three bet. Ah, insta calls. Time for a C bet. Uh, three shoot wits. Now we pick down the pot, which is nice. Uh, pocket tens, what happened here? He limp oh, he limped in and I uh, raised it up. Yeah, I like the bet there. There's uh, enough worse and he will call if I have position. Um, his king, for instance, this guy is only halfly stacked. Uh, I can 3 bet here, but I'm gonna call because I'm gonna be out of position. The pot is gonna be too big post flop with his stack sizes that I don't wanna. Table number. Uh, this table just completely broke up. No one is playing anymore. I will find another one. Let's check it out. So, six nine suit Kyle Limpson. Ice race. I, I, I raise the fish as much as you can, but always make sure that the pot that you don't commit yourself with some crappy hand post flop. I'm just sitting down at some random table here. Eight, nine, blah, 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 blah. Just bet. And we pick up a flush draw. And a straight draw. So, uh, obviously, a king or a queen is not going to do uh, a lot of good. Um, Some folding equity combined with our uh, equity in the pot. If we do get raised, it sucks. But again, uh, same raising as before. We have so much. We have folding equity combined with so much pot equity that I. That I feel like betting is a little bit better. Uh, and we, we do, even if we do get called and we completely whiff. Um, I mean, you didn't. You were betting. Like I wasn't betting huge. I wasn't even betting like two thirds of the pot. I think. Um, 
so your bet doesn't have to work really that often to, uh, to be profitable I just hope we get some good hands on table number one and table number four. Nice flop on table number four. And an all in on table number one. Well, a shove. I hope the carry just fold. Unless you have like queen jack of uh, hearts. Uh, interesting hand on table number two. Um, Two. If I make it three, we can shove any flop. I think I don't even have to make it too big. Wait, no, this is just I'm, I'm shoving any flop. I already made up my mind. Uh, don't want to shove pre flop. Uh, I just want to. Oh, I want to give him like the idea that maybe he has some folding equity if he shoves over me. Uh, doesn't matter where the flop comes now on table number two. Uh, I'm all in. Now that we actually, if if I wouldn't have hit anything, I wouldn't, I would, um, I would have uh, flopped. Uh, but now I want to give him like the chance to raise my c bet here, and uh, maybe he thinks uh, that he has folding equity. Um, makes the call. Well, oh my God, you've got like fucking two dollars left. Just put them all. In. Thank you. And what did he, King Queen? He had a gut shot, so. Uh, queen 7 pseudo table number 2. So you see, th th this is exactly the reason why I don't shaft when I hit, but when I missed, I would have shaft. If you. If that makes any sense, uh, if it doesn't, just mention it in the forums and I'll be more than happy to explain. Uh, I think I raised it up here on table number three. Let me firstly explain. I have showed on equity. Uh, this flop basically really, really sucks. Um, Jack nine and it's suited. Uh, it's so many of these drawing type of hands that, uh, that I mean I, I expect to get called so way too often and I can't really barrel. Uh, I'll, uh, I can't I can't really barrel. Uh, five six seven eight table number. Oh, it's a limit point. Four five six seven eight nine. Sometimes I, I think like I sound like toughish. Counting, what do I have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I have that. Okay, this is a good card. I'm gonna check, and hopefully, he has an ace and he bets, and I'm gonna raise the. Yeah, that's it, baby. Uh, let's just make sure we have the nuts, but we do have the nuts. That's the funny thing. Okay, let's make a huge raise here. And here, um, oh, this guy usually folds when I see, but and we do have two over cards and a back door, so uh, I don't hit anything. I'm just gonna check fold here if he bets, and I'm gonna take my free card with the seven. If a jack came off, a queen, a king, uh, probably an ace, I would have continued, but now uh, we're just uh, giving up, especially since uh, I know that this guy usually. Now I'm really curious as to what he has. Like he's gonna show some stupid pocket, pocket pair of fours. Uh, he's not not folding now, even if I bet. Um, well, probably. He doesn't have a ten. That's for sure. Well, actually, he doesn't have a ten. That's for sure. 
so I'm gonna bet like three and I think he's gonna fold a lot Although my, well, I don't think he, he cares about my line, although it doesn't make any much sense either. But anyway, uh, he did make the fault. Uh, let me quickly explain what I, what I did, what I did. Uh, we've got some hands going on. Uh, I do have Shona. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, actually I'm going to check behind here. That's not a good card here on table number two to check because a lot of the hands that uh, a lot of hands that were calling uh, now actually made a pair type of uh, hand. So uh, we have the bottom end of the straight. He did check. Let's bet like. Well, f this is a well. This is really thin. Essentially, I don't expect to get called by two pair. Even is not going to call. This is a stupid bet on table number two, uh, especially against a guy fourteen zero. Well, only seven hands. Uh, I don't really expect to get called by worse. So this is an, a bet that gets myself into trouble if I do get raised and we split. Yeah, this is like the well. Maybe he was falling, going to fault uh, this, but but why does he call my C bet? This is incredible, these guys. He's out of position and he's calling my C bet with a gut shot to the bottom end of a straight. Well, six, seven, eight, yeah, to the. F I mean, okay. Uh, I, I was giving him some credit because he was playing 25 0, but that just uh, that just closed the door. Quickly. Sit me here. Calls with a cut shot to the bottom end of the straight out of position. Oh well. And I would understand it if he would have like check raised on the flop, but he just merely called. I mean, what, what is he really hoping for? I mean. That his seven high is going to be good. Obviously, he hits his his gut shot on the. Okay, so let him call him with any queen, any king, like he did uh, before. So, I'm betting here two streets for sure uh, with ace eight. Uh, Actually, I should make a note about what he did there. Uh, there's some dead money here on table number two in the pot, so I'm definitely gonna raise with eight queen suited. Uh, on table number four, we have a limp from stupid guy, seven nine. Well, since I know that he folds on the flop, uh, if I ice a raise, I am gonna make uh, an ice a raise there. Here, I'm just gonna raise eight queen suited. I think I'm still ahead here with ace 10 offsuit. Often enough, uh, if he bets again, I will be falling. He doesn't. Uh, well, now I'm betting to let him pay off with all his 9 tens, ace jacks, and ace queen, ace kings type of hands. I'm probably going to fold any pocket pair, so I'm making a bet here. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be 170, well, 175, 150 is fine. around with him. Ah, just make the call. Seven. Nine. 
knight and got there. Um, I'm just gonna check. I don't think he falls to a river bed. There's like a pot size bed left, and he has something. Wow! <laughs> My god. Just when you think they. you've seen it all, they call you down with ball and pair, no kicker. feel like limping in on table number two and expect again well no I'm never limping in. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> nice flop on table number two. Okay. And watch the guy fold here on table number uh, three. All right, checks. So either he has like pocket aces, pocket kings. Again. That's kind of weird. Look at Jacks. There's really no reason to bet. I mean, if I bet here and he has pocket Jacks, he's not gonna fold. Uh, let him make a bluff with something stupid uh, if he has something stupid. <sighs> here he goes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. Make a thin value bet. Uh, look like I'm bluffing. Uh, not betting anymore. Maybe pocket jack still makes the, some kind of uh, call. Okay, I don't think anybody has something here. So unless somebody's got a pair of sevens. Um, well, yeah, unless somebody has a 7, uh, I don't think. Mm. Getting a little bit frustrated. Well, not frustrated. It's just, I, I think this video also kind of shows you what, what people call you down with. And just wait until 10 queen offsuits. I know you're getting a great price, but 10 queen offsuit is just a crappy hand. Just fall it. You're gonna get yourself more into trouble than you are gonna uh, profit from it. 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> both fu it's funny on both tables. On both accounts, it's funny. That's oh, it's really funny on table number 3, though. Bets. Let's fuck him up. Well, he only bets so small. Let's make like a. Well. Oh, watch him have like 10 jack. Gonna f fucking go nuts if he's 10 jack. Maybe he has got some like batteries. Uh, he's not falling any. Call some probies. <sighs> well, I mean, I'm not. I have to ship it in. Um, if he has Ace King, which I hope he has, uh, so be it. 
If he has like a full house, so be it. I mean, that's life, I guess. Yeah, he's queen. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Stupid monkeys. Ah, here we go. I saw raise on table number four. Here we got three, but on table number uh, three, you 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 know me, guys. I I, I really hate calling uh, three bets, so I avoid it as much as possible. Okay, uh, this guy is really pushing my buttons here on table number four. Call him. Now he makes a ridiculously small bet. I'm gonna call him. Can't fall for this ridiculous small bet. Now we hit our straight. Am I happy? Mm. Wow, that's a really small bet. <laughs> the thing is, if I raise, is he ever going to call with something? That I beat. Let's make like a smallish race. I mean, they're, they're so obvious with the die what I have. So I mean, I want to get some value from my hand. I mean, I could shove, but I think. Uh, what did he have? Four, five, two pair. Yeah. I to raise him again here. Pocket queens, interesting table. I'm so I'm really have a bad image on table number two. 47, 41. I'm just gonna call. See what happens. No hands. Mm, I really didn't want this guy to come along. I didn't really want an ace to come on the flop, but. Two fifty bets into two people, uh, uh, big bets actually. So I'm just gonna fold my pocket queens. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is going to do behind me, and uh, it's just doing. It's, I call the preflop. Uh, uh, here, what happened? I ice raised. Huh? Yeah. <sighs> okay. You can see that. Doesn't have to be a really big C bets. See all uh yeah. Three, four, seven, eight. Okay, and this video has been running for quite some time. I'm not uh, I'm not continuing here on table number four. Uh last time hit he makes this small type of bets with like two pair he has something and I think he has a tendency not to fall on table number four, so and here we get I'm gonna sit out the blinds. There were a couple of decent decent spots in this video here on table number one again you see the stupid st these donkeys. Um if there were if there was some cursing in this video I definitely apologize for this. It's just uh you can well, I'm just me living along with uh, this guy is betting like one in two. I have a cut shot, and even if it ten comes off, I'm still beat by uh, ace jack. So, and it's gonna it's gonna be quite obvious what I'm gonna have. So, no, we didn't hit far from it. So, king queen. Uh, this guy has a full stack. Uh, let's see what he. And I guess this was it for this video. So this was colossal. It's been a really long time since I made the six max video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, some interesting spots, in my opinion, in this video. Uh, some close spots on what to do, what not to do. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you were wondering, the guy, uh, the car in the background, it's uh, my new car. Uh, if you want to see more pictures of it, uh, let me know and I'll, <laughs> I'll post them. Anyway, uh, see you guys in the forums. Uh,